the writer's map, an atlas of imaginary lands, edited by Hugh Lewis Jones, because it does have a few different contribu contributors uh, in writing the different chapters. So you got prologue, you got part, you got four parts, part one, make believe, writing maps, creating maps, reading maps, you got envoy, conclusion, contributors, acknowledgements, further reading, sources of quotations, and sources of illustrations. You got quotes and maps throughout the book. So if it's like referencing into like Neverland or like Middle Earth or whatever, it would have like Jamberry or um, Tolkien or, or other authors at the beginning of the chapter or throughout the book. So, and it talks about the impacts of ha um, impact maps can have for the reader, whether it's a totally made up land or if they're using, say, New York, like in the Moral Instruments or London or Tokyo or whatever the location may be or the total make-believe of the Land of Oz or the Hundred Acre Wood which is also mentioned in Neverland and all this and they have like a few selection of these different maps and and you're just looking at different kinds in literature and like you're looking at different authors and how the like um, the author of the How to Train Your Dragon books she's talking about like Neverland and like her own experiences when she's living in Scotland and how it reflects into the archipelago of where Burke is in How to Train Your Dragon and you're looking at these personalized kind of stories with the connection to these other maps and lands in other books as well, like Neverland, Oz, Wonderland, whatever the land may be that the chapter is talking about. So if you are somebody who is into maps or into the different worlds that are created by the authors and <laughs> or just like it in general and you you're getting a lot of illustrations in this book you're getting a variety of different looks of the maps and stuff and you're getting a bit of information you're getting some stories and yeah you're getting a selection like to me not a huge selection of maps but it is an interesting selection of map selections that were chosen so yeah the writer's map an atlas of imaginary lands edited by hugh lewis jones happy readings